Hey, this is Galan with the Detox Podcast. Today I wanted to show you this cool bag I've been carrying around in place of my normal bag. It is the Diaper Dude Convertible Backpack Plus in black. Um, as you can see, it's a, this is actually a diaper bag, but it doesn't look like a diaper bag. So that's part of the, the whole thing with the Diaper Dude um, is they, they make bags that don't look like, or necessarily look like diaper bags, which is really cool because if you go to Babies R Us or any of the other like stores, most diaper bags look like a diaper bag. It's, I mean, it's cool to be a dad. I mean, that's why I do a dad podcast. But walking around with a um, a diaper bag, you know, it, it, I mean, it definitely has a dad factor, but may not have the cool factor. But as you can see, this bag actually looks pretty cool. Um, so it, it's made of a uh, kind of a canvas material. Um, and I'm gonna give you a look inside here in a moment. So being a dad of a four-year-old, I really don't have as much use of an everyday diaper bag because my kid's not wearing diapers. Um, you know, they, we keep a change of clothes in the car. My wife keeps one in her purse, but we really don't need a diaper bag. So um, one of the other hosts, Joe, will be reviewing one of the bags as a dad of a two and a two-year-old and a newborn. Um, so that is definitely a more comprehensive diaper bag um, approach to it. But, you know, if you look online on Amazon or Target or wherever you may do your shopping, it's really hard to find a nice, I mean, a, a quality looking bag, quality looking, a quality bag for a decent price. My messenger bag was is a leather one, well over 120 bucks. I mean, it was a Christmas present. I wouldn't spend that much on a bag normally, but... This bag at half the cost, or, or more than half the cost, is has been my go-to bag over the last few days. So first, let me show you this uh, for you dads out there. It does come with a changing pad, and it, it's a normal size changing pad, but it's cool because it Velcros up instead of just folding like some of the other diaper bags do. And I'm sure as you know, um, you know, when you, there are some of the bathrooms out there, when we have to change our kid on the go or benches or wherever we're at, what that we don't want to put our kids down on that. So a diaper pad is invaluable and it's great that they include that, which most diaper bags do, but it's cool, it's gray. Uh, if you're into the whole masculine color, it's you know it's, it's neutral, um, I dig it. So let's get to the bag. So on the outside, you'll see that there is a, um, a latch, plastic latch. You have a zipper of a bag here. You have an insulated, uh, an insulated pocket here that actually is big enough uh, for I know, like a bottle of water, a small bottle of water, a couple of bottles, um, uh, an applesauce packet, one of those twisty top, the twisty top ones that are really, really, you know, like the kids can squeeze, um, or maybe a go-gurt or something like that that your kid can keep on the go. But for us office kind of guys, it is more of a water bottle kind of thing. You have a pouch here in the front. Let me go ahead and show you what this zipper pouch looks like. I actually keep, uh, hopefully there's nothing in here that you shouldn't see, but I take this to work. So as you can see, there's an iPhone cable, a ton of pins, flash drives, batteries. Now there's no pockets in here, but you know, for a diaper bag, you're not generally not going to have zipper pockets that you might get on some of the other bags, but still it holds a ton of stuff. Uh, I mean, and I, I probably should, I probably should be keeping my pins in this upper compartment. Let me get that, show you real quick. And you have a zipper right here. So, um, you know, that would probably be better for pins or smaller things like flash drives. Um, and then you have a side pocket over here that can hold, uh, I was using it to hold a flavor water enhancer. Um, I mean, but, I mean, it's a side pocket, so I mean, backpacks have them, so whatever you might stuff in there, headphones, um, iPad, an iPad or a, a USB adapter or something like that. And on the inside, you have a ton of room. Right now, I am keeping my, let's just do this. As you can see, I'm keeping my laptop. There's an iPad, like a full-sized iPad in there. You have stylus boxes. You ha I have a, a leather-bound journal in there and one second. Here is a much better shot of how much room there is. This is an incredibly room, uh, roomy bag. That's a uh, you know pretty standard business laptop. 
uh, that fits in there snugly. It doesn't fit obviously in the, the little area here that has Velcro to hold it in, um, but most of us don't want to deal on, on deal with laptops with that small of a screen. Uh, I think this is a, a, 50, uh, a 14 inch laptop, so I mean there's plenty of room for more. I could probably have a 15 inch laptop in there. Um, and then there's pockets that the um, stylus boxes go in. There's a bigger pocket over there that's going unused at the moment. There's a ton of space and I mean not that my other bag doesn't have a lot of space but I mean uh, from a dad's perspective you could keep all kinds of stuff in there from your diapers to a change of clothes to a pair of shoes and it, you know it's it's comfortable uh, to carry it's not it's not excessively it, the weight feels distributed well um, when you carry it as a messenger bag now if you've seen pictures online uh, of our podcast I am a bigger guy um, and so the backpack version, which is why this is a convertible plus. So if you look here and you'll see there's another zipper back here that it covers another, that another iPad or something, or who knows what could go in. Um, but you'll see that this is set up in a backpack configuration. So let me uh, scroll back a little bit. You, um, you got this, so, you know, especially for smaller guys or regular size guys, that should be fine. If you got the straps here that adjust and you know that you wear it as a backpack you have here you have these are you might be wondering what these little loops here are that is a stroller strap so that way you can put it on your stroller on the handles of your stroller and there's one over there too um but what you can do is if i can do this one-handed i apologize i'm not i don't have the best uh video set up but so you'll see there is a latch here. These are nice, sturdy, heavy-duty um, latches. But you take it and you pull it through this little slot right here and connect it up here to the, where the, the soldiers, the stroller strap or the stroller uh, straps are over here, and you have a messenger bag version um, which is how I carry it now here's the thing I am six foot two so I mean I'm not I mean there are people that are taller than me most definitely uh, you can see my collection of uh, nerdy things there um, you know I, when you do the straps all the way out the, uh, the it's good enough for I guess I should show that it is good enough for I mean someone that's probably six five to six eight to be comfortable when when I have it fully extended, it goes well down past my waist, um, and it's just simply not uh, comfortable for me to have it that long. So I generally have it a little bit shorter. Um, but this is so far I've been using this for about three weeks now. Uh, but, you know, I, I get it in, I toss it into my car, uh, leave it in my trunk. You know, um, it, it's it's not. It is. Definitely something that can withstand the, the everyday abuse of an office job. Probably even more if you go into school and you're looking for it. The the bag runs sixty five bucks. It's sixty five dollars is actually a really great price um, for a, a bag like this. Um, you know they they're available on the Diaper Dude site. And one of the cool things if you buy from the Diaper Dude site is that you know every bag you purchase, um, five percent of the purchase sales go, or the sales goes to. Um, an organization called Futures Without Violence, which is a nonprofit organization devoted to working to end violence against women and children around the world. And that is something that is incredibly important. It's awesome that the diaper dude um, provides that. And you know, these these aren't bags just for dads, you know, they they are fashionable. Um, they you know there are they are more neutral or earthy colors, but you know, moms are into that too. I know for a long time one of my wife's favorite colors was this dark gray. She loved dark gray, so she would have loved this bag instead of the, uh, the the generic kind of green and black bags that we bought when our daughter was a baby. Um, so give them, a, uh, give them, go to the website, which is diaperdude.com. Give them a check or check them out or however English is not my strong suit, I guess. But give them a give them a quick look, look through all the different bags they have. The, the um, uh, check out Joe's review of the uh, I forget which bag he has. Uh, he has the um, carrier, it's the uh, stroller caddy bag. Where is it at? The, yes, yeah, a stroller caddy bag. 
it's a $60 bag um, as you can see on the website here that is what it looks like it looks pretty cool it's a but it's definitely a little bit more of a uh, of a diaper bag but go to diaperdude.com check out the bags uh, use code detox10 that's d-t-a-l-k-s-1-0 to get 10% off your purchase and um, you know I hope you enjoy them give them a, a look and uh, don't forget in September uh, we are going to give away a one of the um, stroller caddy bags in caramel um, all you have to do is go to our Facebook page on facebook.com search for the detox podcast like our page and you're entered to win all you have to, it's free all you have to do is like our page we'll, and, and then if you win we'll contact you get your shipping information you pay nothing you get a diaper an awesome diaper bag for free and all that's courtesy of diaper dude um, dot com so check them out check us out um, hopefully we'll have more videos here in the future I know our, our channels kind of barren at the moment but we're starting to get around to that um, and we'll be talking to you soon uh, our our podcast release um every other sunday so every two weeks and um so subscribe to us on itunes if you like us give us a five-star review that really helps us out with visibility and we'll talk to you soon thanks so much